Today is March 4th and it is snowing again. We thought we were pulling out of winter and every time that's happened over the last several weeks, then we get more snow. So someday spring will come, but we're not sure how soon. Sure is pretty though. Hi folks. Believe it or not, we are still moving into our house. Uh, just going through, there was still some stuff in our pole barn, so it seemed like a good uh, weekend to start going through that stuff again and organizing and moving what we can into the house or deciding, you know, is it a, something that needs to be donated? But in the process of doing that, um, a chipmunk got into the pole barn. So we left the door open while we came into the house and had lunch, hoping he would get out because we couldn't seem to, you know, shoo him out. And then we went back in later in the afternoon and he's still in there. And I just saw him last time I was in there. <laughs> about 10 minutes or so ago, and I left the front and the man door cracked open. So I'm going to go back in and see if I can tell whether he's still in there or he got out. He may have not wanted to come through with just that little crack. He was actually running across here when I started to walk up the loft. <laughs> kind of scared me. <laughs> Oh, are you up there? Oh my gosh. Why did you climb up there? Shoot. Dude, you gotta come down. This is not a tree. I heard him and then saw him. Oh. up on the loft and see if we can see him from up there. Dude, what are you doing up there? He started to come back like he was going to come back to the left here and I just kind of banged a broom on that post above the sign. And that kind of kept him back, but hoping he would come over here and come down. And you can see I've got the door open, so then he could just go on out. But, yeah, I see you again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come down. Trying to figure out where to go. <clears throat> you got yourself up there. Oh, I don't want him coming back over here though. Deeper into the barn.
kind of typical homeowner issues. We discovered today that there's a leak in our uh, main floor bathroom sink. We think it's coming, I can get my finger in the camera, um, up here, this connection. And there's like sitting water right in, or excuse me, it was down in here is what I first noticed. And a little bit of water residue. So we do have um, well water, so it can leave kind of like a white stain, but you can see that must be the lowest point um, where water has come and collected. It. Unfortunately, we didn't realize it for a while. So Tom's going to see if he can tighten up this uh, top connection where it goes into the sink, and we'll see if that is the issue and if that resolves it. So I'll have to put like a bowl or something down here and we'll see if it continues to catch any water. tighten down the pipe in here. I'm just going to take a quick look and see how it's going. And that is completely dry. I don't see any anything in there at all. And that feels dry. Okay. Yep, I don't feel anything. Help if I show you where I am. I don't feel any moisture along any of those joints. So I think it had just wiggled loose a little bit since the initial um, installation of the sink. So hopefully that takes care of it, but we'll keep this little Tupperware dish here and monitor for a while and just make sure to be certain. But it's just one of the typical things, even a brand new house <laughs> that you have to deal with. Um, you know, it, the house can be brand new and still need, need maintenance. So I wanted to give you the latest on Alvin. Uh, we haven't seen him. My husband's been out to the pole barn a couple of times this morning and hasn't seen him so far. So we're really hoping that one of the opportunities where we had the door open and we're still working in there late yesterday afternoon that he scooted along and escaped. So uh, fingers crossed he is out of there and that should wrap it up for this week. So I hope you have a great week ahead. Thanks for watching.